Welcome to another video. In this problem, we want to solve for x and all the values of x. And to start with, if you have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2, and by taking ordinate here, we have negative ordinate and everything equals to 0. But here, we are going to do a quick manipulation uh, for this x raised to power 2 as x raised to power 3 and minus if you subtract uh, minus 5 x raised to power 3 and uh, we add 4 x raised to power of 2 rather then we are going to have minus ordinate equals to 0 and this is making sense so because addition of these two equals to negative x squared so we have four different terms so we can group this thing into two uh, we have x to the power of three minus five x to the power of two we bracket this and we also bracket four x raised to the power of two minus ordinate everything equals to zero so for the first one, x raised to the power 2 is common here. And by taking it out, we have x minus 5 left. And plus 4 is common here. 4 can go in 100 in 25 times. Uh, we are going to have 4 brackets. x to the power of 2 minus uh, 25 10 equals to 0 then but here is just like the if you have x raised to the power 2 bracket x minus 5 plus uh if you write 4 i will create a larger bracket i want to factorize x raised to the power 2 minus 25 and i'm going to apply the knowledge of difference of 2 square and uh, we have a raised to the power 2 minus b raised to the power 2 so here is 2 square with negative separating them so that is difference of 2 square and uh, it is turned into a minus b and a plus b and by comparing with this uh let's say we have x raised to the power 2 minus uh 5 raised to the power 2 is still 25 and uh, we have the result to be x minus 5 and x plus 5 all right so here we apply it here as x square minus 25 will turn into this there we have x minus 5 bracket and bracket x plus 5 everything equals to 0 and if you consider these two different uh, bracket so we see that we have something common to them uh, by taking out the common factor from both we have x minus 5 common to both. We create a bracket and another larger bracket. So we have x raised to the power of 2 left. And for this here, we have plus 4 and uh, x plus 5 will be left here. Since we have taken out x minus 5, then we have 4 brackets x plus 5 bracket or larger bracket equals to 0. Then, uh, we have x minus 5 and another one in this bracket. So we let this one equals to 0. And the second one, which is x raised to the power 2. If you open the bracket, we have plus, uh, plus 4x plus 20. Everything equals to 0. Why for the first one? Uh, the first two, which is x is equals to 5, has been gotten. Uh, is the first root of the cubic equation above why for the second one not all the time we'll be using a um, quadratic formula or factorization method though we cannot factorize this so here i'm going to use the another method called completing the square method so hereby if you have x raised to power 2 plus 4x and i separate this 20 away from it everything equals to zero then uh let's Assume that if you have x raised to the power 2 plus 4x 
and i'm going to add four and subtract four from this then plus 20 everything equals to zero so we are still referring to the same thing above okay uh if i group this from s to power 2 to plus 4 i bracket it and we have this one left as well but all this one will turn into x plus 2 everything is to power of 2. Uh, y minus 4 plus 20 is plus 16 everything equal to 0. then by taking 16 to other side uh, it changed to negative and uh, here we have s plus 2 everything is to power 2 equals to minus 16. and by taking the square root of both sides to cancel the square here we have x plus 2 everything equals to plus or minus the root of negative 16. but don't be confused if you press the root of negative 16 it will give you error uh, but there is a way out uh is how to do it if you have this we can separate it as square root of 16 and the square root of minus 1 but the root of minus 1 is a complex root which is i or you can use any letter as j but i'm going to stick to i and square root of 16 is a perfect square that is for i and by replacing it here we have x plus 2 equals to plus or minus 4i and since we are looking for x only so we take 2 to that other side with negative uh, it changes to minus 2 plus or minus 4i and here is uh, the other two roots for the cubic equations above uh, we cannot conclude that the first root which is x1 is 5 why the second one which is x2 let me go with plus first uh, we have plus then we have negative i'm going with plus then we are going to have minus 2 plus 4i and uh, x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4i you can't add this together because one is real and the one is imaginary this how to solve this thanks for watching don't forget the steps i used and subscribe never stop learning